Okay, so this is my M1 MacBook Air, and uh, I saw this story recently that Parallels is now supporting Windows 11 on M1 Macs, but you have to buy Parallels as a bit of software, and I figured I'd find out what you could get from free software running a virtual machine. Now, I've been playing around with Ubuntu, and uh, the ARM version of Ubuntu runs really well, so if I just started up, I'll switch over to screen capture in a second, uh, but basically Ubuntu here, uh, I can hit play, and it launches Ubuntu. Okay, so I'm also using QuickTime to record this uh, whilst I'm running the virtual machine. So you can see there's the stop icon there to show that it's recording. So if I go full screen with this version of Ubuntu uh, and I click on the web browser and I do a search, so say for instance, Lee PSP Video HDR, and you can see it comes up nice and quick. And it just feels like a native machine. This doesn't feel like a virtual machine to me. So let's skip past the advert. There we go, so now we should be playing at, oh, I paused it by accident, we should be playing at 1080 now. So if I do Stats for Nerds, you can see that everything is really, really responsive, really fast. Uh, so yeah, that's running at 1080, running nicely as well. So if I press Escape just to bring that down a bit, uh, you can see I've got other web pages to open here at the moment. I've got a wallpaper that I was downloading, Hot UK Deals. If I called up, say for instance, LibreOffice Writer, uh, and I'm going to discard the one that I was doing before. And let's just insert one of those pictures that I downloaded just now. So I'm multitasking, even though this virtual machine is running on 3 gig of RAM. Uh, so the, the actual Mac is 8 gig, but this is running on 3 gig of RAM. So if I import that picture, you can see everything's working there. I can open up Files, Rhythmbox, the App Store, I open up the Terminal call up NeoFetch just to show you that it's running the beta version or the latest version of Ubuntu Impish Indri. Uh, and this is QEM Virtual Machine. Now UTM is kind of the bit that makes it easier. So it's like a, a skin for QEMU, which has been around for years and years, but UTM makes it super easy to run a virtual machine. So this version of Ubuntu is the ARM version, and I downloaded the ISO of it, and, and it runs really well. So if I go back to the top here and let's put in Open Lara and just show you that it even plays games in the browser and pretty well. Oh, not if you click on the wrong page. So if I go back, it must be that one that we use. And all the time I can do four fingers up and you can see that I can switch between desktops and go back into the virtual machine. So if I do game and new game, And then if we press the arrow keys, we can run around. I don't know what shoot is, probably control. Yeah, control is shoot. Oh, and I just, <laughs> I must have pressed and held control on that. So we go back into that uh, and then quit out of that, but do a search for say BBC Sport. And it just, it just runs incredibly well. I even installed Raspberry Pi Imager from the terminal, and you can see that that works. Uh, and we can still operate in systems on a Raspberry Pi uh, from this, but the terminal just works as normal. I mean, to be fair, the terminal doesn't doesn't need a lot of information. I tried to install Steam, but because this is running an ARM version of Ubuntu on an ARM device, the Mac M1 Steam isn't available on that. Um, but uh, I tried uh, several other things as well. And uh, lots of things worked as as expected, so so really really pleased with that. Now, if you want to try this, uh, so if I just shut this down, so if I do power off, you're actually shutting down the operating system in the virtual machine, and then just close this down. You can see here I've got Ubuntu 16.04, which is uh, an x86 version, so like a normal desktop processor version runs terribly, takes about two and a half minutes to boot, um, and uh, and it just is really, really slow. Whereas this version, the ARM version, runs incredibly well. Again, it's only using three gig of RAM of the eight gig. Uh, I, could, I could have allocated it four, which may have improved it, but it may have been taken a bit more away from Mac OS, so uh, you know, that's something to try. But if you press plus on here and go to gallery, and this is a free program you can download online. You can also get it through the Mac OS App Store. And the advantage of getting it from the Mac OS App Store is that it will apply the updates. Uh, I think you pay a tenner for it um, to buy it as a full product. And you can see here there's various different systems that you can click on and it will automatically set up the virtual machine for you. Um, so it's ready and waiting for you to install it on it. But if I go back 
and get a plus, we can also set it all up manually from scratch. So here we have, so say for instance I put in here uh, Ubuntu test style operating system. You can pick your icon, uh, so you can pick anything you like in here that obviously is going to match your system. So say for instance I just put the, the Windows symbol, symbol and hit save. Uh, so that's there. You can also go into preferences and you can start changing some things about it. With Ubuntu there is an ARM version so you would use that. Same with Windows, there's an ARM version of that. So if you pick ARM as a processor, so this is the machine it's going to emulate. Uh, and you can see here that there's ARM64, ARM32, there's i386, there's PowerPC, all sorts of things on here. But if I go for ARM64, allocate some RAM. So say for instance 3 gig, which has, I know has been working perfectly well. Then you need to tell it what drives. So we do new drive, virtual drive, and we'll call this one 20 gig and create. And then another new drive, and uh, this one will be removable this time and create. So we need to mount an ISO in a minute, which you can just download from the internet um, for all sorts of operating systems. And uh, this is the drive that it's going to install into. So let's hit save, and then down the bottom here you can see CD, DVD. Click on that and browse to your ISO that you've downloaded. So I've downloaded the x86 version, this Ubuntu game system, which didn't work very well at all. But Impish Indri, the pre-release version, is ARM64, so that's designed to work on this sort of architecture. So we hit open, and then we hit play. What happens is it kind of simulates that you're on a, an older device just installing normally. And here you can see Ubuntu. And you can run Ubuntu from that ISO or you can install it. So if you just follow it through, it will install and it will install onto that 20 gig sort of partition that you've created within UTM. But I'll close that down because that part is pretty self-explanatory. It, it, it pretty much leads you all the way through and it is so impressive. I, ju I just wanted to show how well this was working as I say, other things I've tried weren't working very well. I do need to try Windows 10 or Windows 11 uh, because they are ARM-based operating systems. I reckon they'll run great on this, but I haven't tried them yet. Anyway, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.